Got a big one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> chunky. You see how chunky that thing is? Yep. Uh, that's definitely an eater. That one looks like lunch tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and we're back on the creek today. We're not in Florida, unfortunately. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Houston fell off his rock. He's trying to be tall like me. <laughs> but Houston and I are gonna do a bluegill catch, clean, and cook video today. We're down at the creek because we're gonna get bait here. I think what we're gonna do is go over to the pond and try to catch some like hand-sized bluegill. We've been feeding them. We've had a fish feeder up over there. I think this yeah. is like the third summer and the bluegill are just giant. I mean, literally, we went down there yesterday evening and we caught all of them were at least this big. So we hope they're still there. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do a bluegill catch, clean, and cook. We haven't done one of those in years. I've got a recipe that I actually saw on YouTube this morning. I wanna try out. I think it's like the Kentucky Wildlife Department or something was doing a video with some bluegill. I wanna try it out. We're not gonna fry them. I know I said that the other day and we fried the fish. But today, a little bit different. But we're gonna try to catch some little small minnows and some little tiny crawdads, mm -hmm. take them to the pond and exchange them in for some big old fat bluegill. Yep. Let's do it. Yeah. Creek's chilly this morning, isn't it? Yeah. This little hole of water usually holds a a ton of little bitty crawdads is what we're looking for. We're not trying to fish with like a two inch long crawdad. We want some that are like an inch long at the most. Did you get any? We got one. I got one. I don't know if it's big enough. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for right there. That is the golden ticket. That's going to catch us a big old bluegill for lunch. Huh, Bella? Earl, you want a bite? They're bite size. There's the magic scoop right there. Here, hold the net and let's dump them out. Oh, you missed. Listen, there's a lot, eh? Well, that didn't take very long to get what we needed. That's probably way more than what we need. But what we don't use, we'll feed the Houston's pet bass in his stock tank pond. Let's see if I can get up here without breaking an ankle. Out of the way, dogs. Well, let's see if the bluegill are hungry this morning. One, one came up to eat. The feeder just went off probably an hour ago, but yeah. here they come. The feeder's on a timer, so we got to get them back in here. Usually they come in when the feeder goes off and eat, and then obviously they scatter back around the pond probably, but hmm. hope we can get a crawdad. <laughs> Start off with a little bit bigger one. Just hook him right through the tail, okay? Okay. You got him. Yep. Ow, let go of me. Not bad, not bad. That's uh, nowhere near the jumbo size of some of them that are in here, but yeah. we'll keep him for a little while and see if we can catch some bigger ones, okay? okay. Stay off of my fish. Well, slight change of plans. The bluegill are not cooperating this morning. I think uh, probably should have got out here about an hour and a half or two hours ago. It's only like eight o'clock. Should have got out here at daylight, I guess. We're gonna take the crawdads back to the house, feed them to Houston's bass, and then we're gonna get some worms. 
good old fashioned night crawlers because, well, I think we can get them to bite on those. Too big of a glare. There he is. Hey bass. Hey bass. Here it comes. I see him over there. Oh, nailed it. All right, slight change of plans. When all else fails, you go to the store, you get you some night crawlers. We're gonna catch some bluegill for real now. It's uh, about 8.15 in the evening. Sun's already gone down. We're gonna throw out a little bit of feed. The bluegill should be ready to eat because that's when we caught them the other day, huh? Yeah. Right before dark. Mm -hmm. It's time. All right, don't let me down like we did with the, the crawdads. Where's them big daddies at? <laughs> a very big one. No, that's not what we're after. Nope. Trust me. There's some in here four times that size, huh? Yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that one looks a little bigger. Oh. Put him up here. You betcha. That's what we're after now. That's a Hold big that one, one up. Holy moly, that's one of our biggest ones. Biggest ones I've ever caught. Now that is an eating size bluegill right there, Houston. Yeah, let's go. Oh, took it from me. You're just gonna get little ones up here close to the bank. Yeah. Them bigger ones live out in the deep. They're not afraid to get eaten. You can go on the other side of that fish feeder if you want. You gonna hurt anything. Well, that didn't take long. No, I didn't. Bobber went under as soon as it hit. It popped back up. Another small one. Mm. He's not bad, but he's not eating size. No. Switching up to the grasshopper? Yeah. Going with the artificial lure. You caught two or three on it the other day, so I bet they'll hit. Bruh, what did you say? I said I bet they'll hit it. They dang sure wouldn't in the morning though, would they? No. Lift him up here. A little small, but. Ah, we can probably throw that one in the bucket and we can cull it if we catch a bunch of bigger ones. Yeah. Caught him on the grasshopper. And he didn't swallow that one. It's good. Bella, are you catching any fish? 
Houston is. I mean, it's cast after cast. Oh, oh that's a good one right there. Yeah. Still hadn't caught. Well, you caught one giant. Yeah. And this is like, what, three or four average size. Yeah. But I bet you we can put that in the bucket. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I need pliers to get that out. Yeah. Them little bitty hooks will get you. Mm-hmm. I don't want them big ones. You're like a medium-sized bluegill guy. I want big ones. Got a big one? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is chunky. <laughs> You see how chunky that thing is? Yep. Uh, that's definitely an eater. That one looks like lunch tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Hey, I can flip him. Yep. Pretty one. You switch the grasshopper. I'm going to stick with the worms. So you can catch the biggest bluegill here. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a real good one. Ah. Well, you won that round. <laughs> you got a dinky one. I got a tiny one. Hold yours up next to mine. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I can bear... Ah! It peed on me! <laughs> and I didn't get it on video. Look, look at this, Dad. Show the camera. Look at this. I've seen it. It's peeing. <laughs> it won't stop. It finally stopped. That's gross. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a good one. Here we go. This is what we're after. We don't want to take too many of these big giants out, but... That's a big one. That right there. Is a big bluegill. That's definitely a big bluegill. Look at that little girl right there. How do you know it's a girl? Ah! I don't know. I just made that part up. Ah! Woo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> Thought that went in the pond. Oh yeah. Tighten one. my drag up, man. These things are pulling drag. Dang, Look at one. that. Golly. That's just holy. Look at the size of these bluegill. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. And there's just tons of them in here. But that's what happens when you leave a fish feeder on and uh, take care of your population. We've like not taking any bluegill out of this pond in forever so as much as we've been feeding them we stocked it you know a couple times with hundreds of bluegill and red-eared sunfish or shell crackers as some people call them and uh we're enjoying the fruits of our labor this evening all right well houston and i got us six or seven big bluegill we culled out the little smaller ones uh -huh. we're gonna take them back to the house scale them fillet them and uh have them for lunch tomorrow because it's it's like getting close to nine o'clock so yeah. they're not for tonight it's dark let there be light Woo. heck yeah the first thing we're gonna do is descale these big bluegill. Some of them are still alive, we're gonna have to put them down, but I'm just gonna use a spoon, start at the tail and work my way up and take all the scales off. Oh. 
Hey, just stop flopping and move, flopping and move here. Dang. That's the biggest flip I've ever seen come off of a bluegill. Oh, yeah? All right, Houston and I got all seven of our big bluegills scaled and filleted. But we're going to take them in the house, soak them in salt water overnight because it's getting late. <sighs> we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so the next day, and this is going to be an incredibly simple recipe. Not a lot to it. Got all of my bluegill fillets uh, deboned. Got the rib cages out. Still skin on, but they are scaled. We're going to cook some rice, just plain old jasmine rice, nothing fancy here. And we're going to grill these, these bluegill fillets. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, you just ruined the whole bluegill. You should have just scaled it, gutted it, cut the head off, and fried it whole. That's the best way. I don't disagree with that, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So here's what we're going to do. Like I said, this is going to be really, really simple. I'm just going to take all of these bluegill fillets and lay them in this little grill pan. And then we're gonna put, I've got some garlic herb butter, and then we're gonna use some uh, Everglades fish and chicken. Probably, I think I still have plenty left. And uh, we're just gonna grill these guys. But the reason I'm using this grilling pan is I wanna save all the juices and all that, that garlic herb butter if I can. And uh, we'll pour that over our rice, kinda like a little sauce. So here's the garlic herb butter. My wife gets this at Sam's and it's got Parmesan cheese and basil in it. Man, it's good stuff. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave and melt it down, some of it, and then we'll just kind of pour it over our fish. All right, our little fillets are seasoned up. These are really thin, really small fillets, so they're gonna go on the grill at about 350 degrees for maybe 15 minutes and they should be done. But how about that waterfall? There's a, Houston's koi are all hiding under that log right there. Koi and the goldfish are doing good. They're just hiding from that hot sun. It's hot enough out here. I'm pretty sure I could just almost cook these without even turning the grill on. It's over 100 degrees today, so. But, our little bluegill fillets, nice and flaky and done. Oh yeah, let's go have some lunch. All right, here's all we're gonna do is take us a nice scoop of rice, right on the plate, and a couple bluegill fillets. the wrong utensil apparently. Then I'm gonna get some of this butter. Get some of this melted butter right here. And just go right over the top. Houston let's give it a taste test tell me what you think grilled bluegill over rice oh that's one of the best fish I've ever had like that I'll take it it's really really good let's give it a taste test Ooh. Like you can't even describe the taste of it. It's delicious. Yeah. Man, them little bluegill fries, they're so light and flaky. And leaving that skin on adds so much flavor. I didn't even realize Man. the skin was on it. 
That's why we scaled them before we filleted them. That's good stuff. Mom's working in the garage out there packaging orders, shipping merch. I'm have to take her a plate. Yeah. Did you bring me food? I brought you something to try. Yay! Can you pause that? Fresh bluegill over rice. Mm, smells yummy. That's terrible. Nobody should ever eat it. That's what I figured you'd say. It was really good. I'm gonna peel that little skin off there. I left the skin on for flavor, woman. Well, it's a little fishy. Much better. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's always a good sign when you bring your wife food and she's stuffing her mouth so fast that she can't talk. I'll take it. You sure it's good? Yeah. It's really good. Just little old bluegills out of our pond. Mm. And I didn't even fry them. I mean, I think I think fried would have been better. But I like, I like all my fish fried. Yeah, you love fried fish. <laughs> I was trying to go for something a little bit more healthy than fried fish. Well, it still tastes really good. Houston loved it. Mm. It is good. It is good. So, uh, you got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of orders going. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and all those. And all those. How many orders did you package so far today? I don't know. Over 300. <laughs> so DJ posted a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of new merch, and announced it on her page on YouTube. On Sunday. On Sunday. And this is Monday morning, and you've had, what, over 300 orders. Yes. That's what I've been doing all day since like 8.30 this morning. Yeah. Doing okay. a good job. Mm -hmm. And I brought you lunch. Thanks. Teamwork. Yep. Yeah. So uh, DJ actually got a whole bunch of these do your best tank tops made because everybody wanted a tank top. And you bought like how many? 200? Yeah, hundreds. I don't know. A bunch. And they're sold out. Mm -hmm. Just like the hats. DJ got some do your best hats. Yeah, look at there. For her channel, I think you bought a hundred of those. Sold out in the first day. Yeah, clearly I need to up my game on the quantity. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But we do have these. A ton of these right here. The badge tee. Remember we did the badge tee in green? That looks like a, like my old badge from work. DJ did them in a different color. Yeah. And bought yeah. a ton of those. Yeah. So those are in stock for sure. And we did new AFH and new shirts like what you have on. I mean, restocked those. Yeah, the Creek Life logo t-shirt this one right here we have a bunch of these in stock anyways armsfamilyhomestead.com um yeah bluegill catch clean and cook houston loved it mom loved it i love it i'd feed some to emily but she's asleep on the couch she had softball practice this morning and she got hot so that's all for today guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video